Hi everyone, my name is Behru. Today we are going to continue work on our transaction and implement the transaction in our block and blockchain. So every block must have one transaction or more. Instead of the string, we replace the string with a vector of transaction and then we need to import the transaction. Then we are going to some changes in our uh, methods in block so instead of the string we need to add the vector of transaction here and instead of uh, or when we are going to create a genesis block we need to replace uh, raw string with coinbase transaction so we pass a coinbase transaction and pass the VIC with the transaction in here. Right now, we did some changes in our block file. So we need to go to the blockchain and add some functionality like load balances, access to unexpected, unexpected token from transaction and show them to the user or create a uh, new mining block and also uh, send token to the different users with the address uh, before we adding this some um, adding these functionalities we need to uh, do some changes in our new blockchain we created two different um method for load and also create a new blockchain so instead of, instead of one we remove the new and replace with the two different function function first we use a create blockchain to create uh, our blockchain with the new coinbase transaction and pass them to the new genesis block and after that we save the uh, genesis block and also the hash and return a new blockchain and save them to the database with the flush then we create a new method for load the existing blockchain and after that uh, we get the last hash and convert it to a string and uh, pass to the blockchain and return a new blockchain as existing blockchain after we create our create blockchain and new blockchain now we can easily create a functionality that we need our command line interface to be able to check the amount of the tokens that are assigned to an account as well as be able to send a token from one account to another account now the first step in adding this piece of functionality is creating a way of finding all of the unspent transactions which are assigned to an address. Unspent transactions are transactions that have output which are not referenced by other inputs. So let's create a method which will call find unspent transaction. Let's do it. This method take address and also return a vector of transaction. Then we create a hash map with the key of this string and vector of IH32. And also we create a, a vector of transaction to add all unspent transaction. So then we use the iterator to walk through entire the blockchain and add the block uh, and get the first block. Then we need to use another uh, for loop to walk through entire transaction from the block. We need to create the get transaction in our block. Let's do it. Let's go to the uh, our block file and paste. Because it's really easy. You just need a reference of the current transaction from block. Then we need to check some uh, functionality here to get unspent tokens. 
then we need another for loop to walk through our value out of uh, transaction output to check if the already this transaction exists in our map we need to continue and if it uh, doesn't exist you need to check with the address the user can unlock this token and pass it to the unspended uh, transaction then we need to check if the transaction is not a coin base walk through to value input and then we check the user can unlock with these addresses then we need to just uh, get a value with the mutable and if the value is already exists we just push the value out if it doesn't exist we need the user insert and with the transaction id and also vector of the value out so our unspent transaction uh, is complete let's go to create another functionality let's now use this method to be able to find all unspent transaction output which correspond to an address so again this is method on the our blockchain we pass in the address which uh, which is a string then uh, we output an array of uh, transaction output uh, uh, we call our find unspent transaction to find all unspent transaction and then we use a trade tool to walk through our unspent transaction then we need to another use another for loop to walk through our uh, output transaction then we need to check this uh, a transaction output can unlock by the, this address then we need to push uh, that output to the UTXOs and then return UTXOs. There is one final method that we need to create to make all of this work properly and this method will be enable us to create a normal transactions which are not coin based transactions. Because up until now all we can do is create a coin based transaction the other function that we've defined will allow us to find the balance balance of a user account but we have no ability to send coins from one account to another for this to work we need to find all, find all of the unspent outputs and then ensure they have enough tokens inside of them and that's what this method does for us so we pass an address uh that we want to check and then the amount that we want to send and then this method pass a back of a tuple of r32 and uh, a hash map with a string as the key and then array of i32 as the value we then need to define the three different variable here First one being unexpended output, which is just a map. Then we'll have uh, the unexpended transaction we can get by calling find unexpended transaction on our address. And then we have a variable to collect the accumulated, which will set to by zero by default. Now the first thing we want to do is iterate iterate to unexpended transaction and then we get all indexes from the value out then we need to check this value out can be unlocked by addresses and then we need to check the amount is less than accumulated to continue then we need to get uh uh get mutable from the map by transaction id if it exists we just push the index as i32 to the map if it doesn't exist we insert them then we accumulate the value out of the transaction after that we just need to check if the accumulate greater than equal the amount we return the accumulated and also all unexpended outputs then 
in the end, we just return accumulated and unexpended output. Okay, before we leave the blockchain file, we do want to fix add block because it's getting spring, but instead we need to pass a list of the transactions. So let's do it. Let's rename data to transactions and list of the transaction. <clears throat> let's pass to the new block and I'm sure everything is uh, good right now. Let's go back into our transaction file and create a method called new UTXO. For this function, we pass the two strings we want uh, to pass in from account and to account. And also we need uh, a, another variable for amount and a reference to blockchain. And as a result, we return a transaction. In this method, we want to access the all valid unspent tokens. Then we need to walk through to all maps and find the uh, valid amount to pass to another account. After we find the all valid outputs, we need to check the from address has uh, that amount of money to pass to another user. So if, if the condition wasn't true, we need to return an error. Then we walk through all outputs and uh, with in each transaction, uh, we create a new inputs and we pass to the V in or value input vector. Then we need to create a uh, list of the outputs and pass that amount of money we want to pass to another address or user. Then we need to check another condition if uh, that amount of money the user already has, if greater than, that, greater than amount, we need to do some calculation and to pass the rest of the token to the from address. Then we need to create a new transaction, pass value in, value out, and then we need to call the set ID to create a hash for the transaction ID. Then we return a transaction. Okay, before we move on, we need to check our errors uh, before we create or complete our command line. Let's find all errors. Okay, we have an error here because we need to pass a vector of transaction. In a command line tool, we, uh, going, we are going to back here, but let's pass empty vec right now. Then check another problem. I think we have another problem in our test in blockchain. Just comment these uh, lines and you are free to go. I hope you enjoy this video. In the next video, I'm going to compile CLI to use transaction. See you soon.